This video just reviews one key skill involving velocity time graphs. And in this question we're asked to estimate the distance travelled. So this graph just shows how fast somebody's going at a given time. And his speed or velocity is always changing. So after 15 seconds look, this person's going at 40 metres per second. After 5 seconds, he's going around 20. At naught and 20, he's got no speed at all. Mm -hmm. Now, the one key skill that this video reviews is how to find distance given a velocity time graph. And the simple rule to know is that the area gives the distance. So to find how far this person's gone in these 20 seconds, I just have to find what the area of this graph is, but it says the word estimate. And all that means is that you split the graph into some simple shapes. You could use lots of different options here, but I'm going to call this shape one triangle to the left, and then one triangle to the right. I'm going to draw a line down here, and I've got triangle A and triangle B. Now clearly it's only an estimate. The area I find is a bit too low, but we're showing that we understand that area shows us distance. So let's look at triangle A first of all. Now triangle A has got a base between 0 and 15, so a base of 15, and it goes up to 40, so it's got a height of 40. So its area is just a half times base times by height. Now 15 times 4 is 60, so 15 40s are 600, so it's a half of 600, which is 300, and the units are metres. So in the first 15 seconds, this person goes roughly 300 metres. Then that was A. We then got triangle B. Now triangle B has only got a base of 5, but it's got a height of 40 as well. And to find its area, we do a half times base times height. 5 foot is a 200, so a half of 200, which is just 100 metres. So the total distance just works out to be 300 plus 100, which is 400 metres. And again, that's only an estimation. It'll be under the total area but we've shown how we understand that the area under the graph gives us the distance travelled by this particular person.